Hello, everyone. This is your host, Damaris Ramos, for Latina Role Models. And tonight we have... Fernanda Baldington. We have Fernanda with us. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming. We met a couple of months ago. Me. Yes. We have an our expo at the East Orange Community Center. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Thank you guys for having me. So tonight it's about you. Tell <laughs> me more about you. Um, well, I'm, I'm originally from Chile. I came here when I was eight years old um, with a backpack full of dreams. My parents believed in the American dream. So that's kind of how everything came along. So you were eight years old, came to Orlando? Yes, we actually, first we arrived in Miami and then we um, established in Orlando, yeah. So when you, when you were here, what about the language, the culture? Well, the language was really hard at the beginning. I mean, not knowing anything was, I would, I want to say challenging, especially for an eight year old that all, wants to, all, all you want to do is communicate. So for me, that's when my first artistic calling came along because I felt like in an art class, me being able to create and paint, that was the only way that I can do something and still communicate without saying a word. Like universal language. Exactly. So that's how, that's how I worked with the language. I mean, I, I, most of my time I was either painting or coloring or doing something where somebody that didn't speak could just be like, oh, I, I like what you're doing. I'm, I'm just like, oh, thanks, you know? So that's, that's really how it, everything came about. So it was more of a matter of wanting to communicate. I always think that a lot of painters, they have the story. So yours, you know, it, it's an ex example of that. So you're basically telling me a struggle in life Mm -hmm. brought a skill that you had mm -hmm. yeah so tell me more about you know your where you were growing up um, in Chile mm -hmm. how was it if you have any um, do you think it has an impact of today who you are oh absolutely yeah um, everything was coming from a foreign country um, everything was different but not only different you you actually can see um, where the struggles and where the people are lacking from and how much abundance we have here in this country so I feel like I appreciate everything so much more because growing up I was able to see um, different humbleness, you know, different levels of humbleness and how people would struggle with things that, you know, here it's, it's not a problem. So I always appreciate everything. I, you know, waking up, from waking up to being able to eat and being able to pay my rent and my car insurance and everything, a lot of people that live here don't see how, how much of a difference it is to have access to food and you know transportation education so I just feel like it's, it really allowed me to see and appreciate so if you can go back to Chile or you can bring something from Chile to the United States what, what would that be um, the mountains I think to Florida um, being able to wake up and looking at to the north side and being able to see the mountains it was just a fresh air in the morning. Um, it's, Chile is a beautiful country, and you know, nature-wise, um, I think that's the main thing. And I was also so young that that's, that was one of my main memories. You know, I don't, I don't recall certain situations as to, because I was so young. Have you painted about the mountains yet? Yes, I do have some painting on Tell me a little bit more about your inspiration and what is it that you do. Um, well, creating, I paint. Um, I um, as a, I'm a, I was a scenic artist for Disney, um, but before all of that came along, um, that was the one thing that would keep me up at night. That was the one thing that I was, I felt like I was good at and I felt like I, I was able to contribute something and, and um, aside from anything else, you know. Um, so for me, that, that was my air, you know, being able to paint, being able to create um, and to bring something to life that, that would first come into my head and then being able to project that, to me, that was magical, you know? So I I felt that calling at a very young age. Um, I knew that I was going to be an artist at a very young age. Um, and everything just kind of came along in confirmation. You know, as an entrepreneur, I didn't go to college. And when you feel like you're good enough at something and you feel like you can create a path and make your own pavement, you, you, you actually have the ability to do so. So for me, everything has been confirmation after confirmation. Um, with my art, you know, and and actually like carve a pavement. So yeah. So when I look at your painting, there's a common theme. What is your common theme? In um, right now, 
um, I, I really try to step away from a box. As an artist, that's another thing. Style is something that it's very put on you. You know, either you're an abstract, either you're, you know, a sub-realistic. Um, for me, is working on, s on themes, subjects. Right now, the paintings that you guys see are pretty much culture. So we're, gonna, we're going to be addressing different cultures and we're going to be um, going back into the past and, and just kind of remembering who we are. And as that evolution comes along, we'll bring it to the modern human beings that we are today. Um, this is about dressed in God. This is about that, um, that fashion line. You mentioned God. What is it? You, you have a, a, a line on there. What is it? It's dressed in God. Dressed in God. That's the name, name of the, the brand. Com. Okay. Yeah. Um, God, the reason why God is, is in the title, and it could be very controversial at times, but to me, my talent was a God-given talent. It is? That's, I'm not good at math, I'm not good at science, I don't feel like anything else calls me in that way, and I'm not able to do it unless God allows me to do it, you know, and so I feel like that God-given talent is something that we want to share. We want to bring that creative value back to the people not only can you hang, you can only hang a painting that, that looks good, but now you're gonna have the ability, or you're gonna have the possibility to wear the art. And so you, you give that creative and that value back to a human being. And that's what make, is making you distinctive. You are putting your art in, in outfits. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, the idea came when I was working for Disney. Um, at this point, um, I was happy with my life. Um, and I was also very comfortable. Um, so when the idea came along, I felt like, oh, this is like, it's a spark. It's my life completely changed. You know, that's when I stopped sleeping. I was just sketching and, and doing things um, around that time. And it came along because I love fashion. And I feel like nowadays people can't express how they feel, so we wear it. A lot of times you want to feel valuable, so you wear a, a nice brand. Um, or you feel like you're gonna wear colors. My favorite color is black, so I'm gonna wear black. So you try to communicate that way. And I feel like my language was art from the beginning. You know, even when I didn't know how to speak English properly, that was the way I spoke. So to me, when that mixed together, I was like, yes. You know, let's give, let's give people that art and let's fusion that with fashion. And um, it's, it's almost like you kick the box that they try to put artists in away from them. Because now I can, I don't have to say, oh, I paint culture. I, I'm gonna say my theme, my line, my clothing line for this collection is going to be culture. Then we'll, mo we'll move into another subject and it will always be relatable to what our world is going through. You know, it's, it doesn't make sense um, to, to do something hollow. You know. From your painting, do there is anyone specifically to identify the most and why? As for artists? Um, From the one that you have been doing lately. Yeah, um, I want to say I have a Jesus piece. Uh, um, I, I the three-part one? Yeah, yes. I seen it. Yes, that is probably one of my favorites. Um, a, in the background, you, you see different, different cultures, different artists. Um, my family is also hidden in there. I feel like um, it brings me back to those, to that spiritual root that, that we all have, you know. And, and then again, it's not a religious thing because everybody has different beliefs, but everybody's spiritual. Everybody has a soul. It is a very strong paint, but what's your inspiration? It's, it's definitely distinctive because mm -hmm. you have three different sessions. Mm -hmm. My inspiration was um, welcoming back. What I mean by that is a lot of the times if somebody's different, we set them aside. We, we push them, we neglect them. You're not like me, so we don't match. Um, the idea of that painting was to welcome anybody and, and, and everybody that was here on earth at one point because everybody's judged, everybody's seen different, um, everybody looks different. So I just wanted to see, no ma I wanted to say no matter what culture you are, no matter where, um, where you stand, no matter what you believe, you're still human, we're still here on this earth for a reason, and let's hug each other for that, let's celebrate that, you know, that's why, and that's why Jesus too, because he's a figure that um, is criticized a lot or misunderstood, and we're talking years from now, so mm -hmm. 
It's not, it's not something that you can say, I have a truth, I have a truth. It could be anybody, you know what I mean? And, that, and in front of that painting, anybody can stand. Tell me about your current projects. What is it that you're doing right now? Um, the line, Trust in God is my last project. It's, um, it will be released this year. Um, right now, we're, we're working on the collection. Um, I had a steady, normal, normal job, you know, normal salary. And this is my, my biggest entrepreneur step. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of long nights. Um, but I feel like it's coming together. And it honestly, it, it gives me oxygen. I do ha I feel oxygen with the line. I feel like um, I have a, a clear canvas to create. And that's, that's really what I want the most. So if someone would like to contact you, what would be the... the um, you can go to the website, it's dressedingod.com, and uh, the page right now is under construction, it's a coming soon page, but you can subscribe there and you can, you know, uh, access the news feed and everything like that. So. What about Facebook, Instagram? Fernanda Balbantin is my Facebook, and Instagram is also Dressed in God. Mm -hmm. So, new goals. You just stepped out to be an entrepreneur. Yes. Congratulations Officially. on that one. Thank you. You mentioned Disney. What did you learn about Disney, being there? Disney uh, was my school, was my artistic school. Um, being there as a scenic artist for five years, I mean, the knowledge is priceless. You know, I was able to be with professional artists side by side, um, amazing people. Um, the techniques that you learn, like the knowledge that you learn, nobody can take that away from you. You know what I mean? So I feel like Disney was a huge stepping stone for me, it was just a step into reality as a professional artist. And I am forever grateful for that, for that experience. And, and being able to be there was uh, a dream come true, to say the least. Fernanda, what would be your recommendation for a young woman that look at you and say, wow, I've been there, how can I become who she is right now? What would be your recommendation? Uh, this, it might sound a little cliche, but you can't give up, you know, and trust that you won't give up. Trust that if it's real, you will maintain that. You will always feel that. So you can't give up on your dreams, whatever your dreams are. I know a lot of people say it, but the people that say it are the people that see it, you know, that actually um, understand that. So and don't be afraid in those dark moments when you feel like you can't, um, carry on, that's when, when good things happen, that's when things really do fall into place, so never give up on your dreams. Any individual that has been a role model before we close tonight? Uh, my parents, 100% my parents, yes. They taught me um, how to be human and they taught me how to be powerful as well. It has been a pleasure to have you. Thank you so much. This has been Damaris Ramos for Latina Role Models. Thank you and good night.